Orazio Gentileschi's Rests on the Flight into Egypt is a painting with a romantic past. If ever a painting could tell a story, this is it. It is associated with one of the most flamboyant figures at the court of Charles II, was sold at one of the most important sales of the 19th century and acquired by the great American collector J. Paul Getty. But it is also a painting with a mysterious past. In this painting, Arazio Gentileschi depicts the biblical story of the rest on the flight into Egypt. On the right-hand side, we see the figure of the Virgin, with the Christ child being nursed by her. And on the left-hand side, we see the exhausted figure of St. Joseph, with his head thrown back in deep sleep. Arazio Gentileschi, the father of Artemisia, was one of the greatest masters of the Italian Baroque. He was heavily influenced by Caravaggio, and we can see this influence in the beam of light which comes down from the top right-hand corner, which is very reminiscent of Caravaggio's calling of St. Matthew. The subject of the rest on the flights seems to have been a particularly popular one in Orazio Gentileschi's oeuvre. On no other subject, according to the great art historian Hermann Foss, did he lavish quite such care and attention. In addition to our painting, there is the version in the Kunsthistorisches Museum, Vienna, which is closest to our picture and the only signed version that we know was painted for the great collector, the first Duke of Buckingham, who invited Gentileschi to come to England and gave him splendid lodgings at a studio at York House, his magnificent Thameside residence, where the Vienna painting was recorded in one of the principal rooms. There is another version, which is in the Louvre, which is believed to have been painted for Charles I, to be given as a gift to his wife, Henrietta Maria, and the final version, which is in Birmingham City Art Gallery. Recent technical analysis has shown that our painting was painted over an earlier altarpiece, which features the head of an old man who also appears in several other pictures that were painted by Arazio in Italy before he came to England. It also shows several changes of mind or pentimenti, notably the positioning of the Virgin's hand, which is shown as a clenched fist under X-ray and as a spread hand in the final painting. The first record we have is in a guidebook written in 1838. Stowe is now a boarding school, but in the 19th century, it boasted one of the greatest art collections in England and also a famous landscape garden, which had been popular with visitors since the middle of the 18th century. And this accounts for the fact that there were a very large number of guidebooks published. And it's in one of these that we find our first record of the painting. One of the most elegant rooms at Stowe is the Blue Room, today hung with family portraits. And it is here that our painting was first recorded in 1838. At the time, the room was known as the Billiard Room, but in the 1870s, it was converted into a small drawing room. Among the records in the archives at Stowe is an original copy of the 1838 guidebook. And from this we learn that the Gentileschi belonged to the Countess of Shrewsbury, who lived at Avingdon Park, a beautiful country house near Winchester. The Countess was given the painting by her lover, George Villiers, second Duke of Buckingham, son of Gentileschi's great patron, with whom she conducted a scandalous affair, leading to a duel in which the Duke killed her husband. We're told that several other paintings had the same romantic Countess of Shrewsbury provenance. These included pictures by Van Dyck, Holbein, Van Steenweg, and a version of the Correggio Education of Cupid, which is now in the National Gallery and which belonged to Charles I. We can see this painting hanging prominently on the right-hand wall of the state drawing room in a watercolour painted by Joseph Nash in 1845 to commemorate the visit of Queen Victoria. The huge costs of this state visit effectively bankrupted the family and led directly to the great Stowe sale of 1848. Looking at an annotated copy of the Stowe sale catalogue, we again find mention of our painting's Shrewsbury Avingdon provenance. We also found this wonderful report on the Stowe sale 
in the Illustrated London News. This shows another highlight of that sale, which was a silver table and candle stand that is noted as having also belonged to the Countess of Shrewsbury and having come from Abingdon Park. All of this documentation serves to corroborate the romantic early story of our painting by Orazio Gentileschi prior to its arrival at Stowe. The picture was next on the art market in the 1950s when it was bought by the great American collector J. Paul Getty. It hung for many years at his grand Elizabethan country house, Sutton Place near Guildford. Today, the painting has been in the same private collection since it was acquired at auction in New York some 30 years ago. This is one of Orazio Gentileschi's most celebrated compositions. With the other three versions in some of the world's leading institutions, the reappearance of this rests on the flight into Egypt provides collectors with an exciting opportunity to acquire one of the most significant available works by this important master of the Italian Baroque.